Hi, I'm Matt Malone, and today I'm going to share with you five hot pro tips for iRacing. Now, these pro tips aren't in any particular order. It's just some stuff that I wanted to share with you, and I hope it helps. All right, first pro tip. Hey, how do you sign up for a race when you're already in a race? Well, I'm going to show you. Head on over and sign up for either a practice or a race. You register for it. You join the session. So once it loads and you're in the actual race session, make sure it's not the practice before the race. Make sure you're in the actual race session. Go ahead and tab out. Go back to your iRacing and just withdraw from the uh, race or practice server, whatever you're in. And then go ahead and find whatever race or practice server you want to join and register for it. Now you can alt tab back to your game and you're in the race session still. It's loaded, it's fine. You're gonna get all your results. You're gonna get your safety rating and your and your I rating, all that good stuff. You can complete in the entire race and be done. And then this way you can jump out whenever you need to get into your other session that you registered for. Now be careful because if you lose connection to the server or if you accidentally quit out or your computer crashes or whatever and the sim is no longer loaded, you're SOL because you've already withdrawn from this race, so you cannot get back in in any way. This technique is very useful if you want to register for a race prior to your current race end time. Since it takes about 8 to 12 minutes from the time a race session goes live until the actual race starts, if you're already registered in whatever race that you're in currently, you can calmly end your race, do your little cooldown lap, come to a stop, maybe check a couple things on the replay, finish that race session, exit, and then calmly enter your new race session that you're already registered for. Now remember, since you're joining a race server late, you may miss out on some qualifying time, or as I like to call it, practice. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. While this next pro tip may sound like a mid-roll ad, I promise you it's worth your time. I'm talking about setup shops. Now we all know there's a lot of setup shops out there that cover a lot of different disciplines, different cars, different series, but the one that I found the most helpful for the types of cars and series that I run is Craig Setup Shop, and I'm gonna show you why. Craig Setup Shop Downloader. It's this simple. You click on filter, you select the car that you want, you click on it, you press apply. The most recent racing track that that series, that car is driving at pops right up. You click on it, download the setups, and it puts it in the proper folder, gives it a name and organizes it perfectly. So when you're in the iRacing garage, you can open it right up and you can see all the tracks listed here and all your setups. They're nice and organized, you load it up, here's your qualifying, here's your race setup, boom, open, done, you're ready to go. Now I understand this isn't for everyone, uh, but if you are that type of racer that just wants to get in, do some racing, not have to worry about spending time making setups, it's definitely worth looking into. There's a lot of different setup shops around there, but for me, Craig Setup Shop is the easiest, simplest way to go, and they make great setups for the cars that I race. All right, my next pro tip for you guys is just basic camera tools within the sim. Let's take a look. First thing you're gonna wanna do is open your app INI file and scroll down to camera tool. And then look where it says mouse aim update on exit. Make sure that's set to one. Once you're in the sim, you can press control F12 and that'll bring up your camera tool. And then from here, you can use WASD on your keyboard to move the camera around. Also space bar is to get rid of the HUD. You can move it around, you can go back and forth, you can get a better angle at something. Now let's say you wanna use your mouse to free roam around the track to take a look around or to get a really nice shot. All you gotta do is go up here, go to aim type, static, position type, fixed. And now you wanna press control Z, press space bar, and now you're free roaming using your mouse and WASD for further control. And you can click left click to zoom in, you can do right click to zoom out. This way you can get a real good shot. Some of the, 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 the areas around the track you wanna take a look at, maybe there's a nice monument you wanna inspect a little closer. Take a look up there, oh it's really beautiful. Yeah, it is very nice. Oh, see if you have this issue, no problem, no problem. Let's go ahead and fix that. We're gonna press Control Z to bring back our mouse control here. And we're gonna go in here and adjust our near plane bias, see? 
can we can bring that all the way to the left that way we'll be able to see stuff really close up see like this oh wow now I'm just covering the basics of the camera tool there's a lot of different options it's a very robust camera system take some time fiddle around with it and you get some really nice looking shots all right my next pro tip has to do with the turkey timeline hey Malone how do you jump from incident to incident? How do you do that? It's like a highlight reel. It's amazing. Well, I'm going to show you. While you're in the sim, go to options, go down to control, scroll all the way down to replay controls, and you're going to see two options, next incident and previous incident. Go ahead and map those to any button you want, keyboard or on your wheel. This way you can cycle through all the accidents that happen during your race and get a real good laugh out of it. Now remember, here's a pro tip for the pro tip. Don't spam the button. If you press the button really, really fast and try to cycle through all the accidents really fast, it'll bug out, stick to one car, and it'll, it'll screw up and you won't be able to fix it. So just be real deliberate with it. Go nice and slow and uh, you'll be fine. You'll be able to see all the highlights or, or I guess they're low lights, really. <laughs> hey, I heard somewhere that if you do a cool down lap after the race and pull into your pit stall, you gain more safety rating. Well, here's my final pro tip for you. While that is true, sort of, I'm gonna explain to you why it's true. After you finish your white flag lap and you're battling hard for 17th place and you finally cross the finish line, the race is over, right? If you look at the F1 black box, there's gonna be a timer on there. And if you stay out on track, do a whole cool down lap, keep an eye on that countdown timer because it's gonna change. It's gonna go from one countdown to another. It fluctuates depending on the track you're at. That is when you know safety rating is no longer in effect and the results are in and you can do whatever you want. Now, it may be a good rule of thumb to get in the habit of doing a full cool down lap. You don't wanna be one of those crazy people that crosses the finish line, slams on their brakes, jumps out of the sim because they got another race session starting because they didn't follow my previous pro tip. But you can do a full cooldown lap and just keep an eye on that F1 black box uh, countdown timer to see when it switches over. That way, it doesn't matter. You can hit a jump, hit a wall, hit another, well, don't hit, start hitting other people. So yes, if you wanna gain a little bit more safety rating after a race and you got time, do a full cooldown lap, keep an eye on the F1 black box, and that way you can maximize your safety rating gains or like me, try to salvage whatever's left. All right, guys, that's my list of quick pro tips for iRacing. I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know if you knew any of these or all of these. And if you got any quick pro tips for me to do on another video, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my website, mattmalonetv.com.